Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, it's been a while since I've been on this channel. Um, today we are having a really hard time getting going with our day. Well, by we, I mean me. Um, yesterday we were at the lakes all day. Kids were fishing all day and stuff like that. Um, we were in the sun all day and I am just tired from that. Quiet, please. I am just really tired from yesterday's like festivities and everything and so anyway it's already 11:30. we have not started school yet um so yeah we are about to get started on school um my girls are drinking smoothies and eating some hard-boiled eggs Cade is outside playing so I'm definitely gonna be starting with Stella and what we're gonna be doing is her good and the beautiful language arts and her horizons math she's on book two now she finished book one um yesterday right right she finished book one of her kindergarten math and I don't think I am gonna do any of our group subje subjects today, which is like Bible, history, and science. I think I'm just gonna hold off on those and just get the basics done today um, because I am just so tired and having a hard time getting up and doing anything. Not so after it, what comes before it? 33. No, that's after and that's 13. What comes before 12? Yes. 11 so write 11 before the 12 yep okay what comes before 15 do you want me to put your hair up let me get the hair out of your face much better this. Yep, 14. Good job. Good job. Okay. Okay, Aubrey. I mean, okay, Stella. Stella, what's the next one? <laughs> Over here, what's this? This. What is that? 17. Yes, good job. Good job. Do you like adding? Yes. You do? Yes. Oh. No doodling in your math book. 40, right, 45. You already wrote the four. All right, Stella wants to show you guys she just wrote a perfect five. Good job. That's awesome, Stella. Good job, girl. Are you jumping on the couch? Mm. Uh, I'm jumping in that night crawling. <laughs> All right, so Stella finished her math and then she already wanted a break. And I let her have a break because we had we had some sort of a little milestone happen today, a little new milestone. So normally, when she has these problems, I would read it to her like, I would say, all right, Stella, what is 48 plus one more? And then we would, I would say, here's 48, What's, what is 48 plus one more? And then I would help her like one. And then she would write 49, okay? Well today, I had her do it all on her own. So I made her read the problem. So I would be like, okay, Stella, what does this one say? And she'd say, 48. And I'm like, okay, but 48 what? 48. I'm like, 48 plus what? One. All right, good, 48 plus one. So find 48 plus one. And she, I made her find 48 on her own and then add the one. So I made her do this whole page by herself. Once we got down to the bottom, she was getting really tired and like 
really big writing and stuff. So anyway, I just I let her skip these three and she did this one. So, so yeah, she did great and she was super excited about how good her fives were coming out. So normally she's like, she wants to like just keep going, keep going, do more lessons, do more lessons. But I think because I had her do it on her own, it used more of her like brain power. <laughs> so I think it was like more exhausting for her to do it on her own, but I think that's a good thing because um, when I was kind of helping her along, it was like, okay, she's ready for one more, she's ready for one more. But I, I, I'm wondering if maybe she wasn't really learning all the way when I was helping her. So her doing it on her own, it's like something clicked and she was tired from doing it. And that's, I think that's a good thing. So. What are you drinking? Water. Water? Yeah. What? I'm drinking goat milk. You're drinking goat milk? No, I'm drinking milk. What'd you do to the couch? Something. What'd you do with the cushions here? Um, I left it down in the cushions. You were sleeping? Did you make a house? Show me your bed. You sleep in there. Good night. Oh, you're drinking your smoothie in your bed? You bring smoothies in your bed? Good night. Say goodnight to the camera. <laughs> okay, Stella, number one says, the day after Friday is, what's the day after, uh, 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 uh. what's the day after Friday? We have Friday and then Good, so you're gonna write Saturday on this line, Saturday. I want you to brush it over. Okay. No, like this. I want you to brush it over. Okay, now. <laughs> been watching too many Instagram reels. Okay, so. All right, hold on, let me, I'm not gonna videotape this. We edited the paragraph. Now Stella's gonna read these green words to me. Some of them have silent E's. Today is a hard day. Good. Okay, next. Mm-hmm. What's after Fox? Pine. Very good, Pine. All right, Stella, come on. Stella, you are like gonna take way longer if you have to do a weird thing after every word you read. What's the next word? Chai. Stella, read the words. I am. Good. Mend is it even? Mend is a word like to fix something is to mend it. Dick. Dig. No, that says b. Ba. Bag. Back. Back. Next. 
Skunk. Sunday, Monday. Skunk. Yep. One more. One more. And then one Sunday more. Monday. Yes. Sunday, Monday. It's a B. No. Silent E makes the A say A. Good. Break. Yay! I had a break from school and it said break! Time for cuddles with Mama. Hmm? Penny and me, Mama, look! You're giving Penny a high five on her foot? Yeah. Okay, go play. We had a high five. Go play. No. Go play, Stella. No. <laughs> okay, so I definitely think that we are getting to the point in um, Stella's language arts where we need to take a break, sorry, where we need to take a break from it. So I'm gonna be putting away her Good and the Beautiful level one for a little while. She's really young to be in level one. It's just that she flew through pre-K, flew through K-primer, flew through kindergarten, or the level K. So she's only five. She's not even five and a half. She's only five. And she's now halfway through level one. But their levels are advanced. And I'm just starting to get to the point in here where I can tell she's not old enough to comprehend the stuff that it's teaching now. She can read, but it's like the parts of grammar and like parts of speech and stuff like, um, like she's having a hard time wrapping her head around nouns, verbs, adjectives, and all of that. And then like now it's introducing like spelling rules. So like doubling S, F, and L at the end of short vowel one syllable words and stuff. And that is just too much for her. So I'm going to put good and the beautiful away for now. For Stella only. I'm gonna put that away until she's maybe six, which is in November. So in I'll pick that up again when she's six. But for now, I think, oh shoot. Oh my gosh, why was I thinking I got this for I thought I got this for Stella, but I got this for Aubrey. This is pre-K. Oh man, okay. So I think I'm gonna, okay, hold on. Let me just show you what I'm talking about. All right, I got this for Aubrey because Aubrey's obsessed with pages, but it's pre-K. So it, this, is, is, this is too easy for Stella. So I think I'm gonna look into the kindergarten one of this and work with Stella in that instead. And then, um, yeah, this is way too easy for Stella. So I'm gonna look into getting the kindergarten version of this and use that for Stella instead um, because this is just definitely, yeah, the good and the beautiful is just getting too challenging and it's she's not at the age to fully comprehend what it's teaching right now. So I'm making that executive decision to put a hold on it. And that's okay. It's okay. It's totally okay. If something's not working, if someone's not getting it, you can take a break and come back to it a couple months later or whatever. And yeah. So anyway, now it is, now it's one o'clock and I'm gonna do some school with the older kids. All right, I found it on Amazon and it's only $6. All right guys, it's officially one of those days where I need to hide in my room. I locked my door 
and I need five seconds alone or more because I'm being followed everywhere I go today. I went outside to be alone, they followed me. I went back inside, they followed me. So I came in my room and I locked the door. <sighs> I'm tired and overstimulated and I'm about to go see what's going on. I've been in here a while. What is going on out here? Aubrey was laying on my head. <laughs> so I was screaming and no one helped me. I because had Caden because Cade and Stella What the heck? Help! Help! Aubrey, what are you doing? <laughs> Look at them. I love it. Can I go out now and pet them? No, let them rest. I will. When we go hey. out, they... Twixie is chewing her crud. Not crud, cud. No. They chew their cud. Twixie's not chewing her So cud. is Cookie. They all are. No, That's what they do when they relax. Twixie is not. Twixie. They regurgitate hay. What does that mean? They bring hay up from their tummy into their mouth and bar? they chew on it. Is it bar? Kinda, I guess. Ah! They're so cute. Twixie's not. Hey, where is it? Peanut butter, is it? Now she is. No, she's just she's just doing that to get her jaw good. To get her jaw good? Give me that. I am taking a walk up to my parents' house to see what my dad is up to. My dad moved the horse's shelter that from there to there because the hay is in there and when it rains, it when it pours, we usually have to walk in this muddy, nasty mess to put the food under the shelter. So now, because they're leaving us for six months, now we'll be able to, my kids, my kids are the ones that feed, my kids will be able to get the hay and just dr throw it over into the bowl, which is awesome. So. That's what he's been doing all day, is moving this shelter from one end to the other to make life easier. Where are you? Mom, can I kiss Cookie on the lips? Yeah. <laughs> There's Stop. a bug right there. Okay. Hi, guys. Mom, can you come see? Mom, can you come see Penny? Yeah. He's probably not there anymore. Come on, Aubrey. <laughs> so now, Briella is doing her teaching textbooks math. We do teaching textbooks and horizons. And I'm gonna work on this puzzle for a little bit because I feel like it. This is officially the longest school day ever. It's after three and now Cade is doing his teaching textbooks math and the girls are playing in their room. Um, I really wanted to get to, I really wanted to do our spelling today, our spelling you see, but I'm done. I'm done though. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so my husband just called and wants us to meet him at Costco. So we're gonna get groceries and probably pizza for dinner because today is hard. And yeah. 
So we're gonna get pizza, groceries, and then come home. Hurry up. Oh, your shoe fell off. We have to coax the goats with alfalfa to get them to go home so we can go to Costco. I love watching them all follow you. All right, we're on our way to Costco. <laughs> All right, so anyway, we're gonna eat some Taco Bell and we're gonna pray that we don't get tummy aches. <laughs> 